Oh my gosh, I hate this. What is that? Heck no. I'm out of here. <laughs> You guys are not going to believe this. I guarantee it. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it for myself. Taking off the uh, clearance lights, which are original heavy metal ones. I don't like these though. I mean, for a Kenworth, they usually had like a different one, but they're not available anymore. So I ordered, you know, the LED ones like I have all of my trucks. And I gotta tell you, every single time I've done this job, I have had to use the grinder to tear apart the uh, clearance lights, the old ones, to get to the studs, to saw them off and hold them above the cab so that when they're real hot from sawing them off, they don't drop in and start a fire. I mean, it's just been hours, not so with Grasshopper. These screws come out with hardly any effort. I, could, I couldn't believe it. The first one over there, I'm like, what? This has got to be an anomaly. But the rest of them, same way. Okay, I've got them all out. I thought I would just show you. Watch, I haven't touched this on my honor. Look. Is that crazy or what? I've ne I, I wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you, if somebody told me they were taking the, the old original clearance lights off of a 66 truck, I'd tell them, get your grinder, you're gonna need it. Nope, not with this one. Unbelievable. And they're really not that terrible bad. I mean, I don't think they've been changed. They're original. They're the old metal ones. And look at look at the condition of them. I mean, those are original. Let's see what we got here. Oops. Here we go. Unbelievable. I am so happy. I mean, yeah. I mean, usually I'm having to pray through after swearing <laughs> on these things. Wow. I am so pleased that I don't have to have this terrible mess up here to clean it up. And so when the new ones come after the roof is painted, I can just put them on. Bada bing, bada boom. Just like that. Off he comes. Mm-hmm. Just like stinking that. I literally have maybe 15 minutes taking these off. <laughs> uh, hey, it's a different view up here. Yeah, it's getting a little dusty in here. I do not like that, but what are you gonna do? You know, that's the trouble. A garage is a garage, and a living space is a living space. And when you mix them up, you're gonna have to keep up. Okay, so while we're up here, let's talk. This truck was originally black. I have found black everywhere, around the headlights, 
on the sides underneath the kick plates um, just below the door up here on the roof I mean I don't know if there was a stripe scheme on it or not I'd really like to know and I, w I would love to find out or even see a picture of it that color but I like a black truck with stripes on it but uh, we're going to leave a grasshopper a grasshopper wouldn't be grasshopper if he was black so but that's what this black is up here and of course it's all sun uh, the sun took most of it off for me so yeah not gonna be a big deal up here to get this uh, painted and covered also amazingly enough all of the little screws came out of the horn now neither one of these air horns are working and I did a video a year or two years ago about taking these all apart this is the diaphragm taking them apart and cleaning that all out in there and uh, putting them back together and they usually work so wish me luck okay all back together screwed back on let's see what happens Okay, up to the other side. What's nice about these is you can get to the other side of the threads too because they go right through the casing and they, they're exposed just a little bit on the other side. All right, so we're gonna daintily clean this. That all looks pretty good, but we'll see if it'll come off. Oh yeah, it's gonna come right off. <clears throat> That's all good too. That way I can clean it down, down on the bench. Okay. Put a little juice on here, just for good measure. Oh, you know what, we're plugged up. There's still stuff in there. Oh, let's just see if something comes out. Ha! Yeah! That was a mud dauber nest. Now let's blow that bad boy out. So uh, right about here is usually where you would see a sponsor commercial. Um, things are changing a little bit, so uh, Billy Parker, Detroit Diesel, has come on board, so he will be a sponsor uh, in the future. And if you are interested in sponsoring the channel, get in touch with me. My email's down there. Uh, it's sdgraphics at GWC mail. Net. Uh, get a hold of me if you want to uh, look into a sponsorship on the channel. Helps me, helps you, because uh, we get quite a, a viewership here. So, uh, yeah, ponder on that for a minute or two. Uh, so, I have decided to stop procrastinating and uh, crawl into the bunk of grasshopper that is full of whatever, all kinds of goodies. Uh, I know I saw some bones in there the other day. <laughs> so, you know, we've had, we've had mice, we've had raccoons, we've had uh, a rat in the oil pan, uh, and we had a snake skin. Uh, I'm praying that there's no live ones or eggs or anything like that in the sleeper. That will totally freak me out. I see bones. I'm not kidding you. All right, let's get this curtain out of here. which I need to keep this intact so that I can use it for a pattern. All right, nothing's moving. Fix up old trucks, they said. 
See, I told you a bone. Think I'm kidding you. Friggin' bones in here. Oh, I do not want to lift that. I am seriously creeped out. I'm going on record as I hate this. And I don't think I want to do this again. Really do not need the stress. You know what? I think this actually has cured me from buying old trucks out of woods and fields. Oh no, 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 no. Nope, not doing it. Why is all these bones in here? Look me, I'm shaking. Oh man. This is the epitome of heebie-jeebies. And if you, any of you guys are saying I'm a wimp, okay, say away, because I do not like this. I do not like seeing stuff covered. There's another stinking bone. What is that? That's a freaking head. Heck no. I'm out of here. Okay, guys. The deed is done. Uh, I do not ever want to do that again. Not fun. So, we're all empty. And, uh, everything's dry. It wasn't wet anyways, thank goodness for that. But uh, what I'm going to do next would be to make a mixture of uh, bleach, maybe. Spray bleach all over in there. The trouble is, when I do it, I'm going to asphyxiate myself. I'm going to get out quick. Either that or white vinegar uh, or something. I'll figure out something, but it's all got to be uh, disinfected. That's for sure. But uh, I'm happy to be done with that job. Welcome back, boys and girls, girls and boys. Uh, Going to give you a little update here. Uh, you just saw the uh, wonderful time that was had by all cleaning out that disgusting sleeper. So now that that horrible job is done, we have, uh, you see I'm starting to get the sand and process done here, but uh, little by little, everything, <laughs> kind of all at once. But um, what I did here was, she's all cleaned out. And I hope you can see, but got this all painted underneath here. And got the new fans installed so that uh, Mr. Wizard can start wiring our lights. Uh, you know, they all go up right through the holes there. I know it's kind of dark, but you, you get the gist. So we're going we're gonna to put ends on these, uh, on all the wires, so that we can just plug and play and unplug and pull them out. That's the right way to do things. And I'm also designing a custom console that'll be here. It'll come all the way back. To the header sleeper header and let's see it's going to cover this i don't know why they did that they must have put a radio facing into the sleeper whatever uh so i mean that's old school i guess i guess you had to do what you had to do you know what i mean in the in the days gone by but anyways this will be uh here and so we'll have uh, i'll have my cb up there and i'm going to have a speaker and a stereo i have a little bit of a slant on this side so i don't know what's going to happen here we're going to miss that by a little bit i don't know what i'll do there i'll figure it out but anyways that's going to be a nice i always like overhead consoles i just think it's so cool it's kind of like being an aircraft you know you're up here reaching here and you're going up front for the stereo yeah i'm going to put the radio right there because actually there again you probably can't see but there's brackets for it but we'll see. We'll see where it goes. And then the wigwag goes here, and that sucker works. Did I show you that? Let's look at it. So looky there. All freshly lettered and painted, ready to go. Now that's old school. <clears throat> so uh, draining <clears throat> what's left in this tank, which has far less than the other tank, so it wasn't really crossing over, but... <laughs> Can you guys see down there? <laughs> Look what's down there. There is. I don't know if you can see it or not. 
one of those brown bottles and a beer can that they use maybe to scoop out fuel. <laughs> the things you find in fuel tanks from the 70s. Here we go. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, the original owner, or the one of the main original owners, the guy that parked it in 79, told me. He said, yeah, there was a lot of beer that went through that cab. <laughs> No kidding! 70s brown bottle, Budweiser. Yeah, there's the old uh, screw off. Didn't realize they did that. So let's check out mail call today. Look what our brother Dan Renovitz blessed us with today. Yes, sir. I was talking to him the other day about uh, needing some funnels for the, you know, the bottom of the of the exhaust there that goes into these so uh, and we needed these these come off of the uh, the manifolds and they start the exhaust off of the engine so thank you so much Dan and you know what Dan is uh, I believe last year was 40 years uh, member of our local Northeastern Ohio ATHS so he's been around a while and he knows a lot of stuff. He's a wealth of information because he was a he was a tech wreck. Yeah. <laughs> he was a wreck. He was a tech rep back in the day. Um, and matter of fact, we featured him on the channel here because he stopped by like last summer, I think. So go back and see. We had a visit from Dan. And uh, so anyways, and I'm uh, not going to go into detail, but uh, it would be nice if you guys would keep Dan and his family uh, lifted up in prayer. Um so enough said so just do that and uh so dan i appreciate what you did here you're helping to get grasshopper sounding good on my way to the paint store today to uh get some items uh in the paint category for uh grasshopper and uh i get to pass that killer uh k100 blue and white so check this out Primer time. Not hammer time. Primer time. Yeah. Just getting that one paneled section done so that I can get a stack up <clears throat> and uh, keep working across. So yeah, that'll be the dark green coming up and the light green in there and then we'll continue on. I know some of you guys are thinking, why does he do it that way? Because I am in a closed area and I don't want to go full paint sprayer because I just can't exhaust that it's just too much so we'll do it a little at a time I hate bodywork have I ever said that I said it I don't like it, it takes too long yeah I had a dimple up there and a big gouge right there just a small one there but uh, I'm almost now to the to a little bit of the uh, what do you call that glazing compound just for a few areas up there and there and then once that's all there then I can get it painted and that's only just the one panel so much work yeah got some killer muffler guards from Billy Parker. 
Yes, sir. He had these, and I said, those will work just fine. Because I wanted the holes for KW. KW's always had the holes. Um, actually, theirs are a little bit closer together. These might be from Ford or Freightliner, but at any rate, they'll work. They're a lot better than, geez, it's like $350 for one with shipping if you buy them new. I know that because I did it with uh, Bill, the other Kenworth. So, yeah, these are going to work fine. They'll clean right up. Awesome. Thanks, Billy. Okay. Let's try and get some Scriber rides in uh, this episode. Uh, I didn't get to get them in last time because we were hurting for time. But first up uh, is going to be uh, Brian Bishop sent me uh, these pics of his son who is uh, restoring this, I believe he said 1940 GMC. Is this not cool? Straight truck. And I even sent a little video of it running, but uh, I couldn't get the file transferred. So um, shout out to your boy there for the younger generation restoring the old GMCs. Speaking of which, <laughs> that reminds me, the GMC Jamboree, the truck show right here in Connie, Ohio, is uh, coming up June 1st, right here in Connie. And don't forget, 10% um, off to uh, anyone that is staying at the Days Inn right across the street or right down the block is the Evergreen Lake Park campground. They even have cabins and camping and uh, canoes and boats. It's just an awesome place. They're also doing 10% off, so you guys have plenty of accommodations. There's Truck World for fuel and for other snacks, goodies. There's Loves. Uh, and then in town, we've got some killer little restaurants in the lakefront. So all kinds of cool stuff. And I'm kind of thinking, maybe, hasn't, uh, it isn't etched in stone yet, but maybe we'll do a little cruise into town at the end of the show. It's not far. It's only a mile into town. And we'll just go down through the downtown and out, and then you guys can leave from there. I think that would be fun. Kind of ramp it up this year, make it more exciting. Um, okay, so next up is going to be, uh, this is Dave Krause and his 1978 352 back in the day when he was driving. So uh, shout out to you for uh, good taste there, uh, Dave. And then uh, what else do we have here? We have some pictures of some old 60s K100s, just like Grasshopper, that I'm restoring, that you guys have been watching. And Kevin Jones, my buddy there, sent me these picks. Man, he finds the greatest picks. And uh, in the mix is, uh, the you'll see the blue one there, one picture with his uh, mom and dad, and his dad was a driver, of course, and that's and uh, Kevin's a driver as well right now. Uh, and then another picture with his mom in front of it, but that was his dad's blue uh, KW. And then there's just a few others I want to show you there because they're so cool. Okay, that's going to be a wrap this week. Make sure you get your flyers to me uh, through the email or you can mail me a flyer too or whatever, but you'll have to get my address from email. Uh, but get me your flyers and then next week I'll try to get the truck shows in uh, because they're starting in May and um, they're running through right through uh, October, I think is the last one there. Uh, Braden Tucker has his uh, Dime Breed Diesel's family reunion, so uh, at least around here. So uh, get me those this week and I'll share them with you next week. So until then, make sure you keep the hammer down safe and sound.